Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are at Pemaquid Lighthouse up in New Harbor, Maine. Very beautiful spot. Very beautiful rocks and surf and love that uh, view right there. And this is way down. If you walk down on the rocks, you see the amazing tide coming in over these rocks and setting. Everybody, uh, here we are up, up in uh, Pemaquid at the Pemaquid Lighthouse. And uh, I'm going to do a video painting this lighthouse, beautiful place, amazing spot. If you haven't been here, you should come. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna paint the lighthouse. I sketched it out, as you can see. Uh, I wet the paper first, and I'm dropping in a wash of cobalt blue with a touch of Windsor blue or phthalo blue mixed into it. Beautiful blue tint all over the place today, so the sky is very strong. So notice I'm painting over everything. You don't have to, I left that small strip of white just really enriching that uh, thalo blue here. That that sky, it dries so light, you know, thalo blue, Windsor blue dries so light. Notice that, you know, you, I'm going over everything but that white on the lighthouse because the color of the, the sky today is, the, the light is blue, everything's blue. So it's tinting everything. Uh, this is the grass, the, the mound in front. Uh, that's just raw sienna. I'm just letting the blue mix with it. Uh, painting around some of the flat rocks, just making them up as I go along, creating a little pattern there. Okay, uh, let that sky come down. That sky looks too light to me. It's gonna, it's gonna uh, need a little strengthening. Okay, this is just raw sienna, and I'm going to drop some, a little bit of green in there, but while this is wet, I'm just taking a wet brush. This is just water, and I'm softening that edge there uh, as the building turns. Okay, here's a little bit of phthalo green mixed into the raw sienna, give you that grassy, uh, grassy look on the mound there. Just drop it in, let it come down, mix itself with the raw sienna. Okay, very light touch there. All right, uh, I'm dropping some raw, uh, Windsor Blue on the top of this hill uh, and let it come down because I really can see the blue in the, in the air today. It's just so blue up there, reflecting it softening that edge a little more just water that's just water i'm pushing that edge okay you can see it see how blue everything looks here it's amazing all right uh the sky is too light so i'm gonna put uh i'm putting it's totally dry right now but i'm adding just a little wash of water and uh just so i get nice soft edges here and i'm dropping in some more windsor blue a little bit of cobalt mixed to it. Now you can see I'm going back up with almost pure water there. Just washing that down. I want to get that nice and dark. And it also gives the uh, lighthouse a little punch. You know, the, white of, the light of the lighthouse gets a little punch from that darker blue. While that's coming down, I'm just taking a brush and painting in between the, the uh, pickets of the fence here a little bit here and there you know it's a big <laughs> big fence so just do a little bit at a time all right going up to the uh, canopy of the lighthouse here I just mixed some ultramarine blue with quinacridone sienna, which gives you a beautiful black. 
Now, what I want you to pay attention to here is that it's not all black. It's not all totally black, uh, even though it looks it, but it's picking up so much reflection from the sky. We want to get this round cylinder look to this lighthouse. So the center of the lighthouse, the center of that canopy is very dark and black, but the sides are much cooler and much bluer. So I just, I took some blue and you can see it. Uh, it's, it's, um, it, it's a little hard to see here, but it's much cooler. So if you get cooler on both sides and darker in the center there, it's gonna give you the effect of a nice round, uh, top there and a little uh, cylinder okay all right and the same here with the platform uh, that's blue and I'm going to add the dark black in the center here okay all right so I'm going to let that dry and see what we have in the meantime, I'm taking that same color. I added some raw sienna to it, so I got a very sort of dark green. And I'm just painting the trees on the right of the uh, building here. There's a few trees that are right up nice and close. Give it that main spruce look, you know. You can add some, you know, some cobalt blue to it or even a little phthalo blue if you like. It's a beautiful spot to be. It's so nice here, I'm telling you. You really, it's a, it's a treat to be outside painting here on a beautiful day. All right, there's a few trees, and uh, what I'm going to do now is put a few in the back there because i got so much space. So I'm just taking a little bit of Windsor Blue, really pushing it. You can see how much cooler and lighter. And as they dry, they're really going to go back, okay? Cool and light goes back, warm and dark come forward always. All right, I'm adding some water. Uh, you can just barely see it here, but... I'm going to add it anyway, and it's on both sides of the lighthouse, so that's just phthalo blue. And then there's a tree in between the lighthouse and the building that you can see the top of. So I'm going to put that in, not as dark as some of the others, but I'll let it go back a little bit. Okay. All right, mix up a nice gray. You really need to know how to do this, and it's just cobalt blue with uh, raw sienna and that'll give you a greenish gray and then just add a pinch of rose until you see that gray come if it gets brownish add more blue to it cobalt blue and that gives you a nice bluish gray you know gives you a sense of um, the cool sky reflecting over that uh, rooftop Look how, cool, look how cool that sky uh, dried, after, even after I put that second layer of uh, phthalo blue in there. All right, there's a small roof here on the extension. A couple of strips. This is the rooftop of those buildings on the left. Pop in some windows. The window in the dormer, and then there's a couple of windows on the side of the house here. We'll just pop those in at little squares. And, okay. There's a sort of a porch there, uh, so I'm placing, putting some shadows in there, and I'm 
giving you a close up. What I'm doing here is adding some raw sienna to that shadow and then taking a, a damp brush and just bringing it down and letting it, letting it show through the pickets. Okay, just a little, little suggestion of those pickets goes a long way. All right, and strengthening the posts. There's uh, some posts randomly. All right, there's the light, uh, the chimneys. There's three very prominent chimneys here. Cadmium red mixed with cobalt blue will give you a beautiful uh, chimney color. Cadmium red, cobalt blue. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could charge it with the red once you paint that, drop some red in there, and give you more of a reflective. A little wider here. Okay, another one in the back. All right, so we're looking under the canopy now. Uh, you can see that uh, the inside of the roof there, that's just raw sienna mixed with that dark color, and I'm using some phthalo blue off my palette to put that a stretch of light in. Taking a little bit of the dark color, strengthen that line on the top, give it a little bit of the turn, but not totally. It's still much cooler on both sides. You want that nice round look. Putting a little raw sienna underneath uh, the platform to show that it's picking up the light bouncing off the grass, so it's it's much warmer uh, than the rest of it. Now I'm taking a little bit of very weak phthalo blue uh, to show you a little bit of the um, texture to the lighthouse. So I'm just putting it in very light. As you know, it's going to dry much lighter, so. All right, let's put the flag in, uh, cadmium red, to the turn, bring it down. Okay, pick up some, pick up some uh, ultramarine blue for the dark, beautiful blue there. I'm going to show you how to straighten out that uh, that edge there. Just take a credit card, put it right on the edge the way you want it, and then I, I use a toothbrush, uh, very light scrubbing there, but press down on the uh, credit card so you keep a nice keep a nice sharp edge. So if you've got a ragged edge, you know a little bit of the color bled into it. It's a good way to okay, straighten uh, that let's out. Let's get these a uh, little shrubbery growing uh, on the top there, and then. We want to sit these uh, flat rocks down that are peeking out. Yeah, they're very flat, so I'm just taking some raw sienna mixed with a little bit of uh, ultramarine there, and just placing it near the rocks to show some grass growing. Then I'm scumbling here with a you know a lot of water, same color, to strengthen the uh, color of the of the grass growing. You know, it doesn't have to be like a wash, but as you can see, it's just uh, just spread out there. All right, I'm putting a little shadow under the ball of the, the lighthouse just to show the direction of the light. And I'm adding a couple of seagulls. Everybody makes fun of me when I add seagulls, but they're everywhere. You know, I love them. <laughs> I love the noise, I'm like crying. Uh, Okay, on the uh, railing on the lighthouse, rather than try to paint it, you know, unless you have a really fine brush, I just put a pencil, you know, I, I just do it in pencil, you know, and if you want to strengthen it, you can put a little strength in there, but, all right, uh, I'm using a drop of gouache here to paint the pole of the lighthouse in, and in the background there, I'm just going to add a little uh, sailboat. 
sitting on the horizon. Another thing people make fun of me all the time with. Okay. All right. So now comes the signature. I'm all done. So you should take some time to really practice your signature. And, you know, it's very important. Over the years, the people will really recognize you. And that's, you know, you become, it becomes an important part of your uh, growth as an artist. You know, it's, it's uh, the only valuable part of this painting, believe it or not. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you haven't and give me a like. Thank you. And watch. There's 170 videos there to watch. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon.